why it's called a grey flag. Now, the thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread 80. This is grey. You could use black if you want as well. I'm just going to simply start at the eye and work my way down. Just going to come round the bend slightly, just by the barb. Now I've actually flattened the barb on the hook. Uh, I usually do that for myself. Now for the rib, I'm using a very fine, uh, extra fine oval silver tinsel, or you could use wire, it's up to yourself. It's a single turn to hold. And this there is just the grey dubbing, which you find in the under fur of the rabbit. So you lightly dub it on. All you do is just blend it up. Nice soft dubbing, so. And then just slowly build it up. Now I am tying in the waist piece of the ribs at the same time, which you can get away with, with uh, in this fly, because there's a few turns there going in to hold it. Now you're looking at at least two thirds of the shank length for the body. There we are. It's fine. Now for the, the hackle I'm using, this is a golden badger. I'll show you the cape. The cape here is this one here. It's a bronze grade, it's a saddle. Well, I'll just show you the, the label at the back. There we are. And these saddles are very good, that you get a lot of flies out of them. You just got to look through the packet for the the size of the hackles that you like, because one, one half could be slightly different from the other. It's, uh, that's why you like. I prefer to look through the capes myself. The body length hackle fibre is just slightly longer than the gape of the hook. Just catch at the top. And then a good turn at the top. And then wind down until you meet the, your rib. Go round the back. And nice, you work your way up. This point here. Just draw back the fibres, just draw them back, bring up that last turn. Tie in. Now the oval tinsel I'm using is a Lagerton. You could use, as I say, you could use a fine wire. Um, number 14 in the Vineyard one. An extra small. I just want these to lay back, I don't want them laying forward, I want them laying back. Now when you're fishing these flies, you can start with them really like they are, getting bushy. And as you, if, if you feel this kind of calming down a bit and the fish are a wee bit more fussier, you can trim the hackle underneath, so you get it to sit flatter and more of an impression. Now the wing of the fly, you could use woodcock, or in this case this is hen pheasant. Now I'm going to double the wing, meaning two slips. So basically, if you imagine just cutting two lengths from a right and a left side, you need one. You want them reasonably dark, so you do. So you want two from either side. Just take it off one. Now you can basically put them on together, or individual, it's up to yourself. Now it doesn't really bother me, I can. I like sometimes both ways, it's either way. I, when you're working with natural fibre, you just go with what, what it tells you to do, and sometimes it sits better. Other times I struggle. Now, as you say, just as you see how things go when you tie it in the first time. Now I'm putting them on individual. So I'm just lining up the ends, you're seeing the underside of the wings, on the right and the left side. Just come in and pinch it, so that it's sitting on like a roof like. Nice loosish turn and then pull it through your fingers, just guiding the thread turns on. That's fine. Next set, just slightly longer. So they get separate wings, you see. I'm off on this side first. And then nice and easy. Couple of turns. Check the other side. Same length, make sure the tips are the same length. Hold it with your finger. Just bring the thread turn nice and easy through. 
and tighten up. Working with the fibre. At this point you can work with it, you can just see how it's sitting. I mean, hen, hen pheasant is very easy to, to use. It's one of the easiest feathers, I feel, to get it to sit. And you can move them around, as I say, to, to your happy. Well, it's okay. Draw away the excess. Nice and tight. All the way up. And then come back down into the tie in your hackle. Same hackle. Just slightly just slightly longer. Now you want the natural curve going towards the front. So the inside of the hackle facing towards the eye. All the way up. And then just take your time. Try and not trap any fibres so they go forward. Just You can push them back if they are. See if you feel they're going to go forward. Or when you wind, these will sit over the eye and you don't want that. Just take your time. Depending on how bushy you want to fly. These flies are quite heavy, so time tying off. I'm just going to bring the thread to the front. Keep the thread tight, just ignore everything at the moment. And then quite finish. Come in, draw your thread. And as you saw, I actually folded back the hackle, which you can do. And there we are. See how the wings sit. Very cardless like that's ideal. And that there's what they call the grey flag. Nice wee sedge pattern. So it's certainly worth tying a few. Twelves is the most popular size, twelve fourteens. But you could tie it in a larger size as well, because it's a good colour combination. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Looks okay, just tiny bit of varnish to finish it. And just come in here, just a wee touch. This is very light, so it actually soaks in. And just make sure the eye is clear.